It's probably time to make good friends with your local tyre specialist. Hello everybody, it's Scott here and we are playing through Drift Runner. It's available on iOS and Android and I'm currently playing through on my iPhone. Now this is a drifting game. Yes, we are controlling a car, we are racing around the track, but it isn't a racing game. No, no, no. It doesn't matter if you come in first place, it doesn't matter where you come on the polling board. What matters is how good you are at drifting. Now the problem is, as you will see throughout this video, I'm not very good at drifting. I just never have been. Oh, as I say that and I crash right into that, that's fine, we can reverse. The only drifting I'm good at is in Mario Kart. So, uh, as you can see, oh wow, I've actually really got stuck here. I'm gonna click on recover. We go back a little bit and we carry on. I'm not very good at drifting. Mario Kart is my only drifting and you can get the little colorful speed boosts popping out of the back. That's the only type of drifting I know. I haven't even watched Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. I don't know anything about drifting, but this game relies on it. You want to get as many points as you can for doing as best a drift as you possibly can. So I'm just going to go over the controls right now, what's actually happening. So we have the accelerator on the right, which is the putting my thumb to the pedal to the metal right there. And I've just got caught on here as well. Okay, I'm going to reverse by clicking the reverse button. You don't usually need to use the reverse button. It's just I'm terrible. On the left, we can control left or right with the slider to control left or right. But you can go into options and change things up as you wish. You can either have them as buttons, you can have it as tilt as well, and you can change all the different things, all the different controls to suit your playstyle as you wish. So I'm going to click onto next here and let's have a look at all these different things that we've got. Now I do just want to say that this is a free to play game right at the end of that race there. An ad did pop up. That's the first time I've had an actual sort of forced ad pop up. But I haven't come across any sort of paywall as of yet. No sort of stopping to my progress. But there are options of course to spend real world money or to just watch the ads as they pop up in order for them to get their profits. So you saw me do the drifting, you saw the gameplay, there are also different things we can do. We can purchase new cars, that's the car I had right there, but look at all these different cars that we can get and we can only get them with the in-game currency. Now I only have $2,500, I can't afford to buy any of these new cars unfortunately. You can also purchase these cars for real world money, as you can see this one is $3.99, this is $5.99, this is $7.99, and they have different type of stats. You can see the total power, 505 horsepower, 583, 900 horsepower, that's the most expensive one right there. But once you've got the car, you can actually work on the car by going into the workshop. That is right, we jump into the workshop right here and you can tailor and tune your car to your specifications. So we can repair it. I think I do need to repair a couple of things. Yeah, let's just repair that, repair the body and repair the tires, thank you. But we can also change up the body. All these different parts that we can swap out, we can tune as we wish. So let's go onto the bonnet right here. You can see all these different things. We can change, we can choose how they look. Some of them will be purely aesthetic. Some of them will actually have a difference and make a difference to the overall system so like the engine that's obviously going to be the most important one you can change so many different things with the engine the intake the oh let's go back one the intake the headers i saw there where was the engine headers you can see on the bottom right camshaft fuel system rotating asm the head the induction all these different things that you can swap in you can modify you can buy you can tune up to get the best out of your vehicle as possible but the key is how good you are at drifting so clicking on drift we can jump back in again now there are different types of gameplay modes we have the single player that's what i was doing right there we also have free roam we have events a campaign that's available soon challenges we also have multiplayer as well where you can go up against other people but i'm just going to jump in here and let's have a look at what free roam looks like i haven't experienced free roam just as of yet but if we jump in what should happen is we'll go back to the docks and the better we are within the game the more locations we'll actually get to unlock but because i'm not very good at it it probably means i'm not going to unlock that many but it seems like right now we're able to just free roam. We don't have a predetermined course as we did before. We didn't have the 
purple circles to drive through all those checkpoints. Instead, we can just go around the map as we wish. So maybe this is a good idea, a good place for me to practice getting better at the drifting. Now, at the top, we have the different types of scores. On the left-hand side, you can see the score system. On the left-hand side, those are the points that you've got. On the right-hand side, that's your multiplier. So, as you are increasing points, I've got 36, 37, 40, 50 now, with an 11 times multiplier. What I'm hoping is, if we just keep on zipping around like this, if I just keep on skirting around, I've been drifting for 10 seconds, managed to get a challenge complete right there, but I think once I've come to a stop, I'm kind of on a bit of a roll now, but I'm just going to keep on accelerating now just to see what happens. I've done that with that big multiplier. That was beautiful. Now it's up to 279 points. I like it. Let's keep on going round. Let's maybe hit 600. I think 600 is a nice number to aim for. Let's hit 600 and I'll jump back out and we'll go back into a drift session and see if I can improve somewhat. It'd be nice to unlock a new... Ooh, it'll be nice to unlock a new place to go around because as nice as it is around the docks, all that salt air, all that sea air, it's not going to do very well for the chassis. It's not going to work very well for the metal on the car. You can't have cars by the sea for too long because it erodes eventually. But that's absolutely fine. We are just enjoying going along right now. I want to make sure not to... Can I go off into the water, I wonder? Do you know what? I'm doing well. Oh, I lost 100 points with the impact. Oh, I've been losing points now. I might just go into... I might, I might just take a dip. Can we go in? Yeah. <laughs> I took a dip, but uh, we just respawned. Never mind. That's fine. I just want to see... I just wanted to see if we could just clear some distance. No, that's absolutely fine. I'm... Uh, I, I, I shouldn't be just aiming for the water as much as I can. Look how much I'm losing every time I clip something. Now we're down to 103 points. You know what? I'm going to jump out of this. Jump out. I'm going to quit this and let's try and do another just single player drift session back in at the docks run number one we want to get six thousand points to get one star uh, to get three stars rather or 2500 points oh, to get one star and i was struggling to get 500 okay we're in again let's try this now, it looks fantastic. Honestly, for a free-to-play game, it looks really nice. It plays really well. The soundtrack also is really good. A lot of uh, driving games, a lot of racing games, they, have, they often have a really good soundtrack to go along with everything in the background, which is a nice area that the genre has gone into. I think they've always made sure that there's good soundtracks, whether you're playing free-to-play racing games, whether you're playing games like Forza with the... Ah, with the radio, which is really good. Even Mario Kart. I mean, Coconut Mole, anyone? Iconic, classic soundtracks to racing games, which are always good. Always good, because you want some good tunes as you're driving along. Now, I've only got 100 points. I'm meant to be getting <laughs> 2,500 in order to get one star. As you can see, I wasn't lying when I said I'm not very good at this game i'm not very good at drifting in general and i think maybe that's because i don't have a driver's license i don't have much experience at actually driving but i don't think many drivers out there in the real world actually have much experience with drifting hmm maybe i need to watch all of the fast and furious movies in order to get the history the law of drifting in order to know that it's not just family but it's also how you go about on the road because i've got four points with 36 seconds left oh my days if there's many things about me that's one thing you should know is that when i put myself down <laughs> it's often true and when i say i'm not very good at drifting i was telling the truth oh my goodness 154 points managed to claw back just a few 250 do you know what uh, i've gone off i've gone off track i've gone off the course I've clipped this. I've lost 100 points. There's only 7 seconds left. Could I get 2,000 points within the last 3 seconds? What would one have to do? Become Dom Totero? Is that his name? I, again, I haven't watched any of the Fast and Furious movies. That was utterly atrocious. And with that... St oh, wow. 10,154th place. 
That's how well I did. My goodness. My friends, this has been Drift Runner. Let us know down below, what do you think? Will you be having a go at this? Will you be better at this than I am? I think I already know the answer, but let us know in the comments below. But for now, my friends, luck and more to you all, and catch you next time.